Once upon a time, I met a goblin. Usually, when one encounters a goblin, it is best to avoid contact. But there was no denying that we had caught sight of one another. So we regarded each other with a curt nod, which led to a bit of chatter, which led to the making of the goblin throne. I hear you make things, and I'm wanting a great cheer. He gave me a list of requirements. It must not look out of place in the goblin's den. The seat must be well cushioned. It should be embellished with poison berries and pointy things. And it must contain a secret chamber for goblin treasures. We made our arrangements, and I set to work. After considering the goblin's needs, I chose a trinket drawer stand and set to work. I assembled all the pieces and gave the whole thing a coat of black acrylic paint. I gathered peeling bark from old logs on our property and dried them well in the oven. Then began the long process of applying it to the surface of the throne. Applying bark is like putting together a jigsaw puzzle where the pieces only kind of fit. I apply it so that the grain of each piece flows in the same direction. I carefully apply bark to the front of the little drawer too, ensuring that it's still functional. Later, I add an acorn cap as a handle. Little twigs were added to the edges to appeal to the goblin's fondness of pointy twiggy things. Throughout the making process, I test the drawer to ensure that it still fits and functions easily. Moss is stuffed into the gaps in the bark and added to uncovered edges. Any overly enthusiastic application can be trimmed later. A wash of glue is applied and a dusting of flower soft is sprinkled into place. Any areas that need camouflage are given attention. A fat cushion of moss is applied to the seat of the throne. Goblins are even grumpier when their bums are not comfortable. More fiddling and fussing and trimming and tinkering. The back of the throne gets attention too. After all the bark and moss, I'll add details like pointed sticks, a metal crown topped with a copper bee, and those all-important poison berries will be added. If you're too sensible to engage in a goblin project, consider a chair for a fairy queen. Replace the pointed sticks and poison berries with pretty paper flowers and a sprinkling of fairy dust. As for my goblin, he was well pleased with his royal throne and immediately filled his secret drawer with found buttons, a feather he stole from our hen house, and a skull cleaned by time and found along the shore. He set his chair beneath a large pine and sat on the mossy bench to enjoy a tankard of goblin ale. He didn't say thank you, but that's quite alright because goblins never do.